shelf. Yay! <laughs> Hey gang, it's Jim with Drive to Ride, and while Sharon and I love our Grand Design Momentum 376TH, there are a couple of things that uh, we're going to modify, and one of those has to do with the amount of counter space that we have in the uh, in this rig. In our old rig, uh, which was uh, several feet shorter, but it was laid out differently, so that we actually had a little more counter space than we do now. And what we have seen other folks do is to install some drop leaves on either side of the island. And so we're going to start that process today um, with using yeah, brackets that we got off of eBay. Uh, so these will mount against the, uh, the side of the, of the island. And then whenever we pull the drop leaf up, it'll lock into place like that and then you can release it like that. So we, uh, th so that's what this is going to do, uh, simple enough, except that the sides of the island are made out of uh, veneer. So they're, they're only a quarter of an inch thick, it won't support any weight. So we have to put a backer in uh, behind it. Uh, we're going to glue and bracket it, uh, a, a piece of uh, three quarter inch, uh, eight inch wide material. Uh, and we're gonna put that back there so that our brackets here will stay put so here we go okay so we have already got a couple of drawers pulled out and I have got one of our lanterns down in here because it's dark for some reason they don't put light bulbs in underneath your cabinets so uh, back here is where the uh, the bracket the, the backing plate is going to go so this is measuring out here from from this corner brace here to the one down there this is measuring out about 17 and a half inches. So we're going to cut a piece of one by eight material that's going to fit right in here. Uh, and then we're going to put some uh, corner brackets on this side and on uh, on this upright and on the other upright down. And then we'll also glue it. And hopefully that will give us a nice firm backing in which to put those drop leaf brackets on. Oh, and this is the other side. This is directly underneath the sink. But it's the same kind of a setup here. If I get down here, we have got a corner bracket here, and then we have got one down here. Lighting is terrible, I know. So that that backing plate that we're going to cut is going to go right here again. And this is the same uh, 17 and a half inches long of one by eight material. It's going to put right in here. So we're going to cut two one by eight pieces of material, 17 and a half inches long. Yeah, we're not going to try and make this thing feather, uh, uh, airtight, the, the joints in here. Uh, it's just going to be too hard to do that. So uh, we're, going to, we're going to put corner brackets on it. We're going to put four corner brackets on each side, on each corner of the, uh, of the back plate up here. So there will be a number of screws that are going to hold the back plate to these uprights that, that we had. We might want to draw a picture of that, actually. Okay. So, as anybody who's seen my drawings in the past knows, I am not an artist, and this is only a rough representation of it. So what we have here is we have got two uprights. There's one here on, on one corner of the island, and one over here. And this is the back plate that we're going to put. This is this uh, one by eight piece of material. And we've now measured it at 17 and three quarter inches long. But the plan is, once we have it in there, we're going to put four corner brackets. So there's one there, one here, one here, and one there. So there'll be a couple of screws here, a couple of screws here, four times. So that'll hold it in place. And we're also going to glue this. The idea is that this corner or this backer plate is going to support the weight of the drop leaf once we get it installed. And the, uh, uh, this back plate is going to transfer the weight to these uprights. So, should be structurally sound, at least for anything we're going to put on the drop leaves. We got these over at uh, one of the big box home improvement stores. Whoops, I didn't open it. Lowe's, I think it is. 
So that's the that's the bracket. And there's going to be four of these on each side. So we bought uh, we got eight of these total. And uh, this is our one by eight material. So eight inches across, and I bought a uh, I guess it's a 48 inch piece, so we can get plenty of our 17, 18 inch pieces out of it. Okay, so we got our backer pieces cut. Here's one of them. And now we're going to take our corner braces and we're going to attach them to the um, backer boards and uh, get those in place so that we can screw these into the uprights. So now we've got the shelves finished. Actually, our uh, son-in-law, John, he did these for us. He did a really nice job. This is just pine that we got at the store and um, cut it down to about 18 inches square. And uh, he stained it and finished it. This is the backside, what you're looking at right now. And we're about to put the brackets on here. So that's what we're doing. We're going to use these half-inch screws to get these attached to the, the uh, bracket and then we will uh, put them up on the walls of the island. Okay, so now that we have the backer plates put in, we have got the shelves, we've got the brackets, the last thing to do is to just install them. So that's what we're going to be doing next. Okay, so we have got our lo the location of our pilot hole drill. It's going to be six inches from the top of the cabinet and three and nine sixteenths inches from the side molding right here. That's where our first bolt is going to be. Uh, so we're going to drill our pilot hole right there. Now we're only going to measure the first one. Uh, the second one we're going to put in by, uh, by fitting. So we'll get the shelf up there with the one bolt, then we'll get it level, and then we will mark where the next bolt has to be. That keeps us from messing up any of the measurements and putting holes where we don't want them to be. Experience talking there. We have a shelf. Yep, so we have the shelf in now. And I learned something, these very top screws up here, we're not going to put those in until the very last thing. In fact, I'm not even going to drill the holes until the very last thing, so that we can put them in on an angle like that. Otherwise, trying to go in straight is just way too much, too much effort. If we go in like that, it's actually going to be probably a better hold for the screw, and it's going to be a heck of a lot easier to put in. But anyway, so these work. Put them down like that. And back up like that. There we go. And look at the way it matches. It matches just really, really well. John did a great job on matching the wood. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the other one. I don't know that we need to film it because it's going to be just like this one. Yeah. <laughs> well, Michelle, it gives me extra space. So like when I'm cooking or when I'm washing dishes and I have the two sinks open, I didn't have a lot of place to put dishes and put things. And especially when I use my crock pot on the end and then have more space too. So it's a great thing. Yep, so well, there you are. So I even can have my instant pot here, have more room to chop up my onions, my celery, whatever is going to go in my stew, my potatoes. So that gives me also the counter to be able to have this. And on the other side, I can put my air fryer. <laughs> we have lots of options here. <laughs> More space. I hope you enjoy. If you like the film, if you like the video, we yeah. don't really do films anymore. It's uh, kind of <laughs> old hat. Anyway, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>